Hey, I'm Jesse Palmer, host of The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, and Bachelor in Paradise, and I'm here with the AV Club. <laughs> How much alcohol do you think is consumed in one season of the show? Not as much as when I was The Bachelor back uh, years and years ago. Um, but seriously, I do think there's actually a limit now to what our cast is allowed to drink. And we actually have people on set who watch everybody and they only allow the, them to consume X amount of drinks, I believe per hour, throughout the course of, of filming. What happens if someone is too hungover to participate in the challenge? That should be automatic elimination. I don't know if we have a rule for that, but you should be sent home at that point. If you can't come on the show and, and handle your business, then then you don't need to be looking for love. Do you have any love advice? I think being a former football player, I was always in a, in a culture where um, it, it was sort of frowned upon as a, as a man, as a guy, to show vulnerability and admit when you need help. But I found somebody who allows me to do that and allows me to be myself in great moments and in moments where I, where I need help. And to, uh, to me, uh, that has brought me so much peace. So I would say if you can find someone where you feel comfortable being vulnerable and they, they accept you and help you through those moments and allow you the space to be that, that's a keeper. Do you think a robot could ever be advanced enough to find true love or would it always just be programming? This is a question that I really wanna say I hope one day they can, but at the end of the day they're robots, right? Um, can artificial intelligence go to a point where they can actually have real feelings? Here's another question for your question. Could a robot fall in love with a human and vice versa? Or does it have to be robot on robot love? <laughs>